Alright guys, it was finally time for system test 3. And you're looking at my T-bar, and as you can see, there's nothing up. Now, uh, me and my mom were fighting about, like, the alarms and all that. But I'm going to keep my stuff on the shelf now. A pull station, an alarm, you'll see, in, well, you just kind of saw it, a detector, maybe a remote strobe. So, in the comments, let me know if you want to keep my system here for system tests or just um do it somewhere or just not put it anywhere on the wall or on the shelf so let me know that will be real helpful so yeah and sooner or later um i might get this big board i can do mini systems and i might put a board up there and have this stuff as mini systems and that's a system or whatever but we'll have to wait for a while. So anyway, this is my Simplex 29 T bar. And I know you were expecting something. And I'm just going to flat out tell you what it was. i got to find it first. Um, I put it somewhere. But it was a um, 9,000. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Oops, my iPad fell. And it is a 9,005 panel. I found out I really don't need it. I might need it in the future. Might put it right here, but there's a secret. That's what we've all been waiting for, and I do have a lock. So, um, and all inside is a silent switch and manual evac slash drill. So I might put it here, might not, um, and I might get three things for Christmas. You just gotta wait and find out. So Simplex T-Bar, um, System Sensor Spectral Classic P2475 on low volume, but on a special coding, which I don't think anybody could program this. It took me a while to program this. And then a system sensor 2400, I think it's 2400, TH smoke and heat detector. Um, I can't figure out how to hook the heat detector, turn the heat sensor off, because I've been trying it for, like, I had a heat um, blow dryer, put it right where the um, heat thing is, um, about half a foot away. Test the smoke last night, and it works, and you can see the sensor right there. So, yeah, and it works. And so it's on a special coating. And as soon as I pull this down, you'll see the first part of it. Then you're not going to think it's special, but don't worry, it is. So, three, two, one. Not so special, right? This is actually really quiet. So, nothing really special about that, right? Get my keys. There's the inside. Um, nothing special, right? Well, watch this. All right, put, oh, there it is. I gotta find my little tester. Hold on a second. Alright, got my little testing. My screwdriver thing, I gotta push it out. Go. Prop my iPad up a certain way. There we go. I can go over right here. Insert it in the little hole. Yep. Yep. Isn't that neat? And here's something else. And reset. It turns off the smoke detector. Yeah, this took a while. Um, I only needed these. So what it does is basically meaning when you pull the fire alarm, it does the thing just to say, well, code 3 kind of means you can wait for a second, but then you got to eat back. And then, so basically, yeah. Oops, wrong way. And then when that goes off, it does march time, which means to evacuate since it detected a fire. So, and something that's neat, let me do that again. Oh, of course. I had to put the thing back on, or I closed the thing. But, um, yeah. Uh, let's put it back in and watch this. And this is probably just like from System Test 2, I think, with the march time and the buzzer. 
which sadly the buzzer passed away to Fire Alarm Heaven, and bad news, the Gentex did too. Gentex flash is bad. It like it doesn't even flash. I powered up the right um, voltage, and it just f faintly flashes. You can't. It does. It's not even bright. So two alarms went to Fire Alarm Heaven, but I got a new buzzer, which right there. So everything's good with that since it's only like one dollar. So watch this. Whoa! Whoa, detector. Hold on a second. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Hold on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Um, yeah, the detector fell. I pushed it too hard, so it's going to be like this for now. But what you saw is the little LED flashes when that pulses. And so basically, I'll activate it again. Ah! Hold on. It's hard for me to activate it when it's sitting there. So it does March time to evacuate, and you saw that. Now watch this. If an alarm comes in, it's code 3. And it also turns that off. So isn't that neat? I guess that will continue. That concludes system test three. Let me see if this base wants to stay up. Okay, I think it wants to stay up because I want to get a quick little snap shot of everything. Oh man, it's backwards. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Okay. There is everything. Let me take the keys out. So, there's everything. Have a nice day, everyone. And sorry I deleted the other one, but have a nice day.